Thus Jesus Christ was numbered with the transgressors on behalf of his chosen elect sins. Christ being struck with the sword of God to die, two part shame and everlasting contempt was numbered upon Christ. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. 666, the number count of two parts. The third shall be kept therein by Christ being obedient to God's law unto death, even the death of the cross, the third is kept therein, everlasting life. And I understand that the third part of the sun wasn't darkened when he was enduring the wrath of God on the cross, because everlasting life was given to one of the malefactors being crucified along his side. The third part of Jesus Christ, to those he died for, the gift of everlasting life is the third part. Thus, the two parts, shame and everlasting content, calculated from the two parts, the third part of a man, Jesus Christ, whole figure. 666, the number of two parts, shame and everlasting content, the number of the beast. The beast does not have the third part of Jesus Christ's everlasting life. The beast is identified by two parts that Jesus Christ removed from his chosen people. The beast is in shame and everlasting contempt. Whosoever is not one of God's predestinated chosen elect unto salvation also does not have everlasting life. Whosoever is not saved and is not chosen by God unto salvation has the number of the beast. Those souls and bodies of whosoever is not the chosen elect of God are in shame and everlasting contempt. Equivalent 666. These unsaved persons marvel after the beast. These unsaved persons do not have truth. They do not have ear to hear truth. John chapter 8, verse 14 and verse 44 declares, Why do ye not yet understand my speech, even because ye, ye, ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Note, mankind is spiritually dead from God and truth. This is the first death. Thus, at the end of the world, there is a second death. Revelation chapter 20, verse 10 declares, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Verse 11, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Revelation chapter 20, verse 14 declares, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Verse 15, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Who is God? Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 declares, But unto you that fear my name shall that S-U-N, Son of Righteousness, arise with healing in his wings. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14 through 19 declares, And God said, 
let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and god made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and god set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the fourth day. On the fourth day of creation, God created the literal sun, moon, and the stars. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 declares, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or power. All things were created by him and for him. Literal water, H2O, for example. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God created literal water, H2O. God created literal water as two parts hydrogen and one-third oxygen. No human being on this earth had understood that literal water was two parts and one-third by its elements when Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself walked on this planet. Jesus Christ understood literal water as H2O. He created literal water as two parts and one third for his glory. All things were created by him and for him. Who is God? God created literal water as H2O. Water is two parts hydrogen and a third Part oxygen, H2O, being created by him and for him, illustrates the fact that Jesus Christ became two parts shame and everlasting contempt to remove 666, the number count of two parts from the third part of himself for his elect, the third part of Christ Jesus' everlasting life. Everlasting life is spiritual oxygen. Spiritually spoken as the breath of life from God. Thus the beggarly literal elements are not God. All things were created by him and for him. John chapter 4 verse 7 declares, There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Jesus speaking of H2O, which he created literal. Water, two parts hydrogen, the third part oxygen. John chapter 4, verse 13 declares, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Jesus speaking of literal water, two parts and one third. John chapter 4, verse 14 declares, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him sh shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Everlasting life is specifically the third part of Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, declares, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Everlasting life spiritually is the third part of spiritual water spoken of in John chapter 4, verse 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. Shame and everlasting contempt is not mentioned because two parts therein shall be cut off and die. 